you know, obviously the food. Um, there has to be a need, and the, the need, I, I think I got lucky. I think that the need of, of something different and a steakhouse, I had no idea that this would become a trend and that I'd be a quote unquote trend center in the country, that it would be, you know, change, almost revolutionize the steakhouse business. Um, it was just, it's just a boutique deal. It's a one, I mean, you could call it a one-off deal. You know, chef-driven steakhouse. The decor. So how do you get away from the typical decor? What's typical in a steakhouse? The heavy leathers, you know, the big booths in the, in the, in the chain steakhouses where you see the, the guy, you know, cigar smoking, well, used to anyway. Um, so the decor has to be sexy. So the lighting is critical. How you light food is critical. And that's, that goes in all of my restaurants. You know, I'm very much a stickler on lighting food. So many restaurants don't light food. They'll have ambient light but not direct light. The food's the star. You eat with your eyes and you've already making preconceived uh, determinations of, of how something looks and how it's gonna taste by how you see it on the plate. And then even the music. So I don't play, like, I mean, if I told you it's kind of crazy. I mean, I play some Sinatra, then we go into a little more clubby thing about 10 o'clock. And then I even play hip hop later, but I play Jay-Z hip hop. So stuff that's not too, you know, too cutting edge, but 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 you know, like the New York New York song, and everybody throws their arms up in the air and say, steakhouses don't even play music. You go in chains, they don't have music on. You know, and the lights are bright, so there's no there's no ambiance. Being a host and and being hospitable is is critical, and having a face to the restaurant is critical, which is where I come in. You know, when I write my book, it'll be called Will You Be There because. Everybody that texts me, whether it's a, um, you know, someone I see that lives in my building around the corner, or it's a famous baseball player or a famous basketball player, and they want to know, they say, will you be there? So I'm thinking, why is it so important that I'm there? Because they're going to eat. There could be great looking girls. There's going to be, you know, millions of dollars worth of cars in the front. They're going to have fun. Why do I have to be there? Because I got to connect with them for one second. It's just that quick handshake, look at them in the eye. Great to see you. I try and sit people, I call it staging. So if I have four what I consider great looking girls, why are you sticking them over in the corner when no one's gonna see them? Maybe there's a celebrity there and I want to see them. But I like to sort of stage the room as it were. <laughs>